What is good YouTube, it's your boy Washu here, back at it again with another Marvel based video. So, this coming weekend, we're technically CCXP aka the Brazilian Comic Con has already started. So, we have a huge panel coming up this weekend at CCXP, which is going to be absolutely huge. Now, why do I say this? Because Marvel, specifically Kevin Feige, has double the time he had at Disney 23 to talk about new Marvel properties. Now, at CCXP, we've already been shown a new trailer for, careful for spoilers if you don't want me to ruin your life, for the Birds of Prey movie. It has been revealed that Gerard Leto, the Joker, is going to be in the movie slightly. And it was also revealed during this trailer that Black Mask, who is Hugh McGregor, aka the huge Star Wars character, actually has the mask now, which is interesting because in early reports of the test screening, we've spoke to people, Black Mask had no mask. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any videos. At the 100,000 subscriber mark, I will be giving a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X or a Switch with any game, and I'm feeling like a broken record, but we are only 23,000 subscribers away which could take some time so it could end up being our ps5 but hopefully that isn't the case so let's get in to this video so as we know on this channel i will be covering everything at ccxp well i would do my best at least so we've already had the black widow trailer this week which was pretty decent but there was a lot of problems with the cgi but we are over five months away till the Black Widow movie comes out and it felt more like a James Bond stroke Mission Impossible trailer, which is fantastic. It felt nothing like any other Marvel movie we've ever had. So we know this coming weekend, we are definitely getting a Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. How do we know this? Well, because Warner Bros. has actually sent out some care packages for Wonder Woman 1984 to some UK influencers. So that's how we know a trailer's coming because they don't normally send and promo merch unless they're just about to drop something huge so we've also got the new images of a birds of prey movie doing mcgregor harlequin black canary etc so it's going to be pretty cool now something i'm doing on this channel is we are not just marvel we're talking marvel dc everything because i want to mix it up so as you've read the title i do believe at CCXP, they will be revealing Deadpool 3. Now, this is nothing new because it's already pretty much been confirmed that Deadpool 3 is already in the works. But what is specifically interesting about this is Ryan Reynolds is believed to be Deadpool still, although no one's actually officially confirmed that, although it is pretty much confirmed. So, Ryan Reynolds is confirmed to be appearing at CCXP on the 7th, and the eight. Now, normally the Marvel presentations are done on the Saturday, which would be the 7th. Now, the reasoning on the official CCXP.com website of Ryan Reynolds being there is the following. The actor will be in the 20th Century Fox new movie, Free Guy, Taking Control. The artist is with his co-star, Joe Carey, Stranger Things, and director, Sean Levy, which is interesting. So that's why he's there on the Saturday. Interesting. But we know he could very well be on the stage with Mr. Kevin Feige announcing Deadpool 3 finally, as they do have a lot of slates to still reveal. Now on Sunday on the panel, Squad 6 will host the cast of Michael Bay's direct feature film, The Mind Behind the Bad Boys, The Rock, The Transformers franchise with the world premiere scheduled for December the 13th, the film chronicles the projection of the $6 billion who forged their own deaths and created an elite group to fight crime without being identified. Now, that is pretty cool. But, of course, if Marvel are going to announce something, they're not going to come out and say it. But they do have a one hour time slot. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be officially confirmed or revealed because you guys get triggered when I do that. But... There is a lot of evidence dating back so far to suggest that Deadpool 3 could be one of the next movies to be officially revealed at CCXP. He is there. It wouldn't cost him any more to get him there because he's already there. Ryan Reynolds himself has been trolling so many times since they required the 20th Century Fox 
property. Now, you know that Deadpool 3 would be an R-rated movie and wouldn't be MCU canon, although it would be MCU canon, but you're not going to see a 15 Deadpool in the same movie as Spider-Man, so to speak, because that's just not going to happen. So Deadpool is finally coming home, which is interesting. But then that has the same issues because, you know, Josh Brolin, a.k.a. your boy Thanos, plays Cable. And, you know, Cable is supposed to be a big part of Deadpool going forward, you know, with the whole X-Force, etc. So can they have Josh Brolin playing Cable still? Because if it's MCU canon, it's going to be a bit confusing for the general audience. Obviously, I'm not talking about you guys who follow this channel because you're clued up. I'm talking about the general public that don't watch any of these kind of videos. So Deadpool 3 is being reported. Not officially, it's being reported from other creators, etc. But let's be honest, guys. Everyone's been saying Deadpool 3 is going to be announced during very soon because they do have the new time slots they have four new time slots for movies four new dates and so far no one has actually come out and said it's for this it's for that obviously people can come out and say things but no one's actually verified what they are for so if you remember we recovered this story a while ago when new dates were added october the 7th 2022 then you had february the 17th 2023 may the 5th 2023 july the 28th 2023 and november the 3rd 2023 so we'll be getting two marvel movies in 2020 four in 2021 and four in 2022 and four in 2023 now seeing as all the movies for 2021 are pretty much covered that means technically deadpool could come out in 2021 but i'm not expecting deadpool to come out anytime sooner than 2023 as stated with guardians of the galaxy volume 3 i do expect both their movies to be in the 2023 time slot because it just makes sense. There's no point rushing a story. Marvel's got a lot of other things to handle and to deal with before they do that. So at the moment, I'm expecting Black Panther 2 to come out in 2022. We know that. Ant-Man 3, 2022. So there is cumulatively two slots left for 2022. So in theory, Kevin Feige could come out and be like, yep, the Fantastic Four and Deadpool 3 will be coming in 2022. Maybe that could happen. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I really honestly think it would make more sense for him to come out and announce like the last two slots for 2022 and then the four slots for 2023. Which realistically, Kevin Feige could announce six movies this coming weekend. But if you do look at what happened at Disney 23, they only really gave us Black Panther 2 release date movie wise. They didn't really give us anything. They didn't even give us a title, you know. They focused more on the Disney streaming platform. I don't believe they're going to do this at a big Comic-Con because the Brazil Comic-Con is becoming a pinnacle part of every major Hollywood studio's production. It's standard now. So it is standard New York Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con, and Brazil Comic-Con is one of the flagship ones. Now, I don't really understand why the UK doesn't have one because the UK is literally one of the largest companies when it comes to cinema purchases for going to the cinema. So you don't really understand why that's happening. So also in the news, there is a big conspiracy theory that this weekend at this event that DC is going to announce. Release the Snyder Cut. I don't know if this is true because you know AT&T or a TNT, I say it wrong on purpose to trigger one at someone in the comment section. I mean, seriously, it doesn't really matter. But they own DC. So if they want to announce it's going to be on HBO Max, we know that DC's got a big panel as well, where they're mainly be focusing on, on Birds of Prey, which they've already done. Wonder Woman 1984, Gal Gadot is going to be there, or not, if you want to say it that way. So it will be interesting to see what's going to come out from Marvel and DC. I'm predicting that we are going to get some reveal about Deadpool 3, some reveal about the Fantastic Four and some reveal about when War Stew is going to have a feature film in the MCU or at least cameo. Now, I can't really say if that is going to be true, but maybe they could reveal that. I don't know. I'm just saying that, guys, because we're 10 minutes into a video to see if you're listening to me. So if you are, make sure to say something down below. I noticed a lot of you guys in the comment section are starting to notice what I do when I say my name in a video to see if you actually listen. So if you have, drop it down below. So, like I said at the start of the video, 
please subscribe to the channel, guys, so we get to 100,000 subscribers faster. That would be awesome. And like I said, guys, any questions, drop them down below. I do post on the YouTube community tab a lot more frequently now. We're trying to do that. We also post on the Instagram stories quite a lot. And I've recently started to use Vero now for some reason. It, it's a platform that Zack Snyder seems to post on. So I'm trying to put a few posts on there. So it's at Warstu on Vero. I am verified on there. So there is a, a, a white tick in a, in a blue circle, so to speak. So it is a bit more obvious. So like always, guys, any reasoning you want to get in touch, Instagram, Warstu, Twitter, W Warstu, Vero, Warstu. Literally just type Warstu into everything or check the website, Warstu.com. And I will catch you in another video very soon. But first, guys, let me know what are you expecting to ha come out of CCXP? There's been so much pop culture stuff this week already. Black Widow trailer, Boy Season 2 trailer, James Bond trailer, the Mulan trailer. So much has already happened. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And this video is only an informative video of what we are expecting to come out based on the information that is circling the internet right now and also circling 4chan and Reddit. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.